Yo. What's good? Yo, Nico, what up? What's up, man? How you doing? You start with me? Are we? I guess so. <laughs> How you doing, Wick? Cool, man. I'm just at the crib, chilling, got the cats. How, how, bro. Nice. How's uh, how's everything going with you? It's going good. I mean, I'm just trying to keep my head in the game. You know what I mean? Stay focused. What do you do? Are you are you working? Are you just chilling with a little bit of both? Yeah, me and my boy Lonzo are trying to get a podcast going, so that's okay. in the works. What would the podcast be about? He's trying to make it about the news. I don't even know about. He's trying to do like local news. I don't even know. Okay, we'll school. I'm ready to do it. I'm trying no. to just be writing music. I've been just writing and stuff. You know? That's what's up, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, yeah, this is dope. This is dope. I'm I'm excited for this reunion. Yeah, Chat with all the uh, the 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 New York accent legends. Yeah. Did, any, did anyone hit you up about the accent contest after after it was all done? Yeah, some people hit me up. Uh, like some of my family and stuff. And then I was like, damn, I should have told them to do it. You know what I mean? Right. I was like, ah, but. It's what did you, you think time. of the outcome? Who'd you lose to? Oh, bro, you, you violated me, man. You put me against Meru, bro. <laughs> Yo, it was completely I randomized. Was still, it was I know, completely I know. It's random. all good. It's all good. I didn't but, yeah. even think, like, I knew I was going to get washed, bro. You put up a good fight, though. You know, it's Meru. Exactly. Who, who beat really? Meru? I think Meru. Oh, I think uh, uh, no, Destiny yeah. did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Destiny uh, did. Nico, Nico, should we... Should we set the table so it's clear kind of the the the, the rollout of how we're going to do everything today? Sure. Okay, so uh, I'm John Caramonica. I'm a pop music critic at The Times. Joanna, you want to introduce yourself? I am Joanna. I'm an editor at Styles. Um, we obviously saw Nico's Best New York Accent Challenge. Uh, I got really excited about it. I knew I wanted to write about it. Uh, and we were in touch, and then we put together all the videos that you saw on, on the website and the article and so on and so forth. People got really... I, th I think people, I think it's safe to say, Nico, people got really emotional about this. I, I know I felt emotional about it. I got a lot of emails from people that felt emotional about it. You want to just quickly explain to everybody why you chose to, to initiate the challenge uh, and kind of who are, and explain who we're looking at. Cause yeah, this so is like the Nico, VIP squad. I go by a New York Nico. Um, my, my government name is Nicholas Heller, but you can call me, Nico or Nick, whatever. Um, and yeah, I have an Instagram page where, you know, pre COVID-19, I would go out and just, you know, introduce my followers to amazing New York characters. And, um, you know, I kind of had to put that on hold once we were put into isolation. Um, and I was a little depressed at first because it's like, what am I going to do to stay creative if I can't go outside and, and get videos of people to meet people? <laughs> Um, so I had the idea to do a, uh, a talent show, actually, uh, a talent show from a uh, new, new York's got talent from home. Right. Um, and that was basically my dive into getting people to, you know, record videos that I might've recorded anyway, you know, on the street, like a lot of the people who submitted to that, that contest, um, were performers, jugglers, musicians, a lot of whom I've filmed on the street. Mm -hmm. So it kind of gave me this idea that I can keep running with this, you know, like it's just as powerful as like going out on the street and physically recording these people. And the New York accent has always been something that I've just been fascinated by. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I was, I'm born and raised in, in New York City, specifically Union Square, kind of the heart of the city. Um, and uh, I, I was always kind of confused why I didn't have an accent. Um, and I was always a little bummed I didn't have an accent. <laughs> um, like so no you co-opted co everyone's accent. You sort of like, uh, like when they embrace I've them all. I'm fascinated by the accent. I, it, you know, I'm, love I love New York more than anything in the world. And the, the New York accent just brings me so much comfort. You know, especially yeah. when I'm like out of town. I was living in LA for a minute. This was like before New York Nico. But I remember every time I heard someone with a New York accent, I felt so much more comfortable. Yeah. And now, like, I hardly ever leave New York, but it still makes me feel so comforted to hear someone with a New York accent. Yeah, you know? I think that's how I think that's how people took this. It, I think a lot of people took took solace in it and, and comfort in the challenge, especially those first couple of weeks of quarantine. Yeah, definitely. So well, let's let's do this. So let's do this, Nico. Let's 
you sort of intro we're going to introduce everybody who's here one by one you introduce them yeah. and then joanna and i will kind of chat to them and then we'll kind of go down the line so kick it off when you're ready let's go with james palma all right james james, james. Oh, buddy. so How james James, uh, james was a, was a shocker honestly um you know this dude submitted this video to the contest and at first i thought he was vin diesel I swear to God, I thought he was Vin Diesel. He was riding his car. He was talking. I, you know, he, 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 um, but he just had like this, not only was his accent incredible, just like a classic kind of, you know, Queens, That's I it. assume Italian. I don't want to. Half, half Italian, half Colombian. Oh my. Yeah. I, I see that. I see that. That's very, very dangerous. <laughs> yeah. But I, uh, I love, I loved his voice, but then his, his, uh, what he was talking about. Yep. Uh, was a, was so uplifting. Like he had such a like it, it, it was like a scene out of a movie, but it was great because it was clearly unscripted. Like it just came from the heart, and it was so prideful. And that was a big part of this contest. It's, you know, I feel like in times like this, like after nine eleven, like it's very important to keep New York's pride alive. Yeah, it been hit so hard. So um, after hearing his his monologue, I was just like, yo, this guy, this guy is is a is a winner and i go to his page and i see he only has like 10 followers <laughs> like, i like assume this guy was like a big deal like an actor or something. i'm old i'm old i don't have that instagram oh that man stuff. but I'm, I'm so glad that you submitted um and anyway i don't want to take up too much yeah. time, but john go ahead yeah let me so james let me ask you a question because you you were one of the participants <laughs> that really struck me when i think about uh how new yorkers talk there's a physicality to it it's yeah. not just how the words go it's presentational, right? It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's very it's like this, it's like this. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about learning to talk like that, especially well, as a young person. Well, like I said, it's just, it's just natural. Like, you know, it just yeah. comes natural the way you talk, <clears throat> the way you act. I mean, everywhere you go, everybody knows, you know, like I said, everywhere I go, any state I visited, country, they know you're from New York. It's just, yeah. it's a guarantee everything, every time you talk. And again, you can't teach it, it's just natural. You know, that's why everybody, everybody in the competition, everybody was different, but we're all New Yorkers because everybody has their own slang, their own accent, and old, young, it doesn't matter. You can tell we're from New York no matter what. Does everyone in your family talk like you? Uh, I think my older brother was adopted because he talks nothing, <laughs> of, acts nothing like me. He's out. Yeah. He's yeah. out. My, me, He's my middle brain. brother, yeah, me and my middle brother the same, but my older brother, I don't know where he was born, but uh, yeah, it's just the same neighborhood, Mill Village, Queens, where I grew up. Middle you know, Village. Yeah, it's, you know, if you know the history about yeah. it, you know, it's just, we're all, like I said, you, you had to be tough at a young age, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's just, you know, the way we talked, it was just, that's, that was just our language, you know? Well, you learn the vowels, A-E-I-O-U, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's saying you learned that at birth, basically, you know? I came out of my mother's womb saying, oh, Ma, what are you doing? You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what it was. And you just go from there, you know? Can't beat that. How did you hear about the challenge? Well, I've, I've a couple friends of mine, from Middle Village entered. So I was gonna enter it. Quick story, I'm a published poet. So my wife's telling me, do a poem, do a poem. I go, I'm not gonna do that. You know, it's retarded. Let me just, I got in the car, I was mad, and I started ranting and raving. And then Frankie Blue Eyes, Rob, comes with a poem. All the girls love him. He's the best. <laughs> He's runner up. And I'm just, praying that my, I'm just praying that my wife didn't see it. She comes to the room that night. Look what he did. I told you, Baba. I was like, you know, so Rob, thank you because I slept on the couch that night because. I said some mean words to my wife, but thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Wow. All right, no, I, I didn't know the accent challenge was Rob, you were great, Rob. Here. You were great. It just you yeah, threw me under the bus there. You can reply if you want. Yeah, no, I appreciate that, James. <laughs> you were great, but you, you killed me, brother. You killed oh, me. Oh, man. Nico, yeah. should, we, should we go to Rob next? Since, sure. since we're up. All right, so introduce Rob. Yeah, so Rob... Rob was also, you know, blew me away. Uh, you know, he, he came, you know, there were a lot of people, you know, just put the phone in front of their face and did their thing, which is great. You know, a lot of the people in this, you know, in the Zoom today did that and, and it's great. But I could tell that Rob like really took his time uh, for this contest. He wrote a beautiful poem uh, that just blew people away. And um, yeah, just got that, that classic uh, Bensonhurst accent, you know? And Rob, you're you're kind of young, no? Like uh, under thirty? No, I'm thirty three. Oh, thirty three. Okay. Mm -hmm. but yeah, I feel like it's it's rare nowadays to to hear that that accent from someone who's like under forty five. You know, yeah. I could be wrong. I don't spend a lot of time in Bensonhurst, but uh, 
Go ahead. I mean, my my generation, the, the accent's still going strong. You know, I got, I got six best friends and three out of the six are named Sal. And uh, yeah, it's definitely it's definitely still strong. Yeah, R Rob, I have to I have to ask, um, how many hats are we working with? We working with the same hat? We working with like you rotate? You got a rotation happening? Like what exactly? One hat, three different tuxedos though. <laughs> okay, so it's it's a mix and match thing, but the hat stays the same. That stays the same. I feel like you might have a hat deal coming after this whole situation. I hope so. You and Jay Key as well. I mean, Mars too, to be honest. I mean, you know, <laughs> um, but that's the thing. Like, there was something, uh, it, it added like a layer of kind of a, like a romantic dignity to what you were doing. It was doing a poem was nice. The accent is very, very luscious, but the presentation really like brought it all together. Was that intentional? Did you know you wanted to dress up and really like, be stitched together for it? I think, yeah, I wanted to make like a little bit of a satire out of it. You know, I think that- Satire? Uh, yeah, a little bit. You know, I wanted to, I wanted it to, to kind of all blend together and, and make up a character, if you will. Sure. So the character that you played in the contest, how close is that to On the Streets, Rob? Uh, it depends who I'm with. You know, if, if I'm back in Bensonhurst, then it's pretty accurate to it. But if I'm in the middle of, you know, a classroom or something like that it might sound a little different I think mm -hmm. that that's kind of what's interesting about the accent is some people are uncompromising about their accent no matter where you put right. them it's going to be the same and then some of us kind of code switch and you know adapt to different situations and I think that's why Charlie should have won because if you stick Charlie in the middle of anywhere yeah. that accent's going to be the same and I think it's a testament to uh, Nico's fans because Nico's followers because it's like they they kind of detect that and they know they yeah. identified it, yeah. Yeah, peace to Charlie. Of, a lot of people to Charlie thought, the Wolf. A lot of people thought that Rob was robbed at the uh, the victory, um, and thought yeah, that I, uh, I that Charlie the Wolf won because he is, is a fan favorite on my page. But I blame I blame Putin. I think it was you. <laughs> and, uh... We're gonna we're gonna audit the results. We'll yeah, get back. Yeah. We'll get back to you. <laughs> uh, Maureen Norton is asking if we can hear a bit of the poem. Oh yeah. Do you have it memorized? Uh, Even a part of it. I, in the form of a heckle. It's got the perfect pitch. If you want to hail a cab, and if you're using it in a fight, the hitch just like a jab. Wait, that's not from the poem, is it? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it, it is. From the first one, right? From the Was first it? one. Yeah, from the first uh, one. You just said it differently. I don't know. I watched that video <laughs> like a hundred times. All right. Uh, all right, Nico, who we got next? Uh, I don't know. Who do we have next? Uh, Nicole. Nicole. Slick Nick the Ruler. So, Hi. so Nicole was one of the first submissions, actually, mm -hmm. um, which made me so happy because I thought that when I announced this contest that no one was going to submit anything good for that matter because, uh, you know, I submitted it. The post didn't get a lot of likes. I was feeling kind of down in the dumps. I begged my friend Wayne Diamond to submit a video. Um, <clears throat> and he submitted a video, it got some hits. And then the next thing I know, Nicole uh, submits her video with, with uh, her, what is it, a lizard or an iguana? A bearded dragon. A bearded dragon, Freddy. Um, and she's just there with her nice nails. And uh, she just like, she blew me away. She killed it. Um, so I, so I, I, think, I thank Nicole for kind of like starting this all off. Because um, it, it, you know made me realize that we, that we have some people who are gonna submit some good stuff. Nicole, I should ask, before we ask questions, look, yeah. I, know the, I know the nails are on point today. You wanna share them with people? Yeah, so this is what I do. I did not go get my nails done. I'm a nail tech. <laughs> and um, I did some New York nails with New York Nico, New York <laughs> Times, and some <laughs> other classic New York things here. Incredible. Really, amazing. really very- Thank you. Up. That's Rob, your hat just went to second place. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, so Nicole, who, who do you feel you learned the accent from? Because I know what Jane said is, you know, you don't really learn it. You just are it. It just yeah. happened. Uh, what, did, were your parents like that? Was it older siblings? Where, where, does it, where was it around you when you were young? Definitely my father. I was raised by my father and all my brothers and sisters. I would say... My, we we vary. I have um, one brother who doesn't talk like the rest of us, and I think it's just because he's a professional. <laughs> <laughs> he washed it out. He washed it out. 
he yeah. has the he has the Nico complex. He, you know, he's some, right, yeah. right. Um, <laughs> he's close with him. Right, but the rest of the family is all. Oh, forget it. Still. What neighbor? What neighborhood did you come from? You grew up in Benson Bensonhurst. All Bensonhurst. Um, born in Coney Island. Lived in Bensonhurst. I lived. I lived in every borough, but Brooklyn the longest. Coney Island, stand up. Gorilla Nems. Yes. Stand up. <laughs> I said Nems in this chat. Yes, it's a great question. <laughs> he should bomb this chat. <laughs> um, and when you heard Nicole, when you heard some of the other actions, you know, Rob's also from Ben's and hers. Like, yeah. were you hearing? Were you hearing things? And well, like, Rob oh. sounds like everybody I grew yeah. up around. Um, and my friends, it's so I definitely like he was saying it was a little satire. I put it on a little thicker, used words that like my father would use when I did the video, just to emphasize Good. it more. Lolly like, gagging. <laughs> right, like lollygagging. My dad still says gallivanting, rigmarole, things like oh, that. Jesse, does but, he want a job? Do your dad want a job in the New York Times? <laughs> he would love it, please. <laughs> but um, my friends are really diverse. My friends are from all over New York. So I'm used to the New York accent being many things. None of my friends sound like me. And it's interesting because I have an accent from Bensonhurst, but... I use slang like from all over New York. I say sure. what's good. I say dead ass, you know, things like that. So yep. New York is very diverse. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> sure. And that was one of the great thrills of, of, of watching this is everything that we're looking at and hearing today is a version right. of the New York that I grew, you know, that I grew up in. And I had this conversation with Nico because I feel like I, I grew up here, but I don't have an accent either. I grew up in Sheepshead Bay, not far from Coney Island. Uh, and so, but I hear little pieces of stuff that I know have informed my life in everybody's voice who's on the call. Yeah. Right now. Um, Nico, where are we at? Uh, I don't know. You tell me. Uh, you want to chase money Mars? Yeah, let's do chase money Mars. Chase. All right, go in. So chase money Mars. Uh, chase money Mars. Uh, I mean, I, I remember we, we got his submission. Like, I think it was kind of late at night. Um, it was like the last, you know, because I posted like, up to 12 videos a day. Um, yeah. and I think Chase was like the last one that I that I posted. And I wasn't even gonna post another one that night, but I saw his video and I was just like, yo, I, 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 I just gotta put this up now. Uh, Cause he had the whole story. He had like the classic like Bronx accent lingo. He was just like, you know, like I feel like probably 75% of the people watching the video probably didn't know what he was saying. But like, if you're a New Yorker, you know what he's saying. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, and I believe I believe your your girlfriend, right, is Malibu Mitch. Yeah, that's Beth. Yeah, mm -hmm. so she she had submitted. So I imagine she told you about the contest, yeah. right? Uh -huh, I seen her. She telling me, I'm like, what you doing? She's like, not nah, doing a video. I'm got <laughs> oh, you got a little contest and all that. So I'm like, I right, let me see what that's about. She actually, I'm gonna be honest, she won't told me to do it. Cause really? I'm like, you should do it. It's not really too many people. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that's amazing. She had a good she had a good video too. I thought her entry was great as well. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't think many people know that a couple actually made it into the top 24 of the best New York accent challenge. That's I feel like I feel like the next challenge we got to do is like a couple's version. Yeah. The best the best New York couple accent. Um, so, let me ask about the Bronx because I will say I watched when I wrote my piece, I watched every video, not just the finalists, every video that everyone had tagged with best New York accent. So, we're talking 4 or 500. And I will say that the people who are from the Bronx mentioned being from the Bronx more than any other borough mentioned being from their borough. Yeah, so know. tell me about that. What's that about? Uh, just like, you know, we got our own little culture up here. You know, we right. in two boroughs, you know, Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan and everything. But the Bronx, you know, we our own little world. You know what I mean? Like, we got our own pop. We got our own little, we, we made our own type of time. Like, if you notice, not, not to say it like that, but a lot of, like, the Bronx is all the way up here. We by ourselves. Like, we be in Brooklyn, we be, but for the most part, you don't hear a lot of Bronx people in Brooklyn, man. Right. We be here to ourselves mostly. We hear a lot of people in Brooklyn. But right. We, it's everywhere. You know, everywhere got their own thing going on. You feel me? Like, we got, we got our own vibe. That's all. Right. And how much of that vibe is about slang? Obviously, slang's part of it. And how much of it is about how you say it? Not, you know, the how. I, I say it like this. Like, every borough, for the most part, we all, like, as far as mannerisms and the way we carry ourselves, like we all talk the same a little bit. We all got, we all drag certain words the same. But like as far as lingo and choice of words, that's when you can start like making the difference. Like, all right, he might be from the Bronx. He's saying, he's saying, yo, what's good, my guy? And he might be from Brooklyn because he's like, yo, what's up, boy? Like, mm -hmm. like 
tell them like certain little things that I give a little hint. Like, all right, he from New York, but I, I can tell what part of New York he's from. Did right, exactly. Um, Nico, let's go to let's pivot hard. Let's go to let's go to Sienna. Sienna, how are you? Good. So Sienna, <laughs> Sienna was our uh, youngest contestant. You, how old are you? Um, eight. You're eight. Okay, so she's eight years old, um, and she beat Chaz Palminteri. <laughs> she she beat uh, well, over who, Jazz. Who else did you beat, Sienna? Didn't you beat you beat uh? Did you beat Catherine Nard? No, Rob beat Catherine Narducci. You beat you beat a lot of a lot of big names, and that's just insane for a nine year old. But her video was so good. Um, she's definitely has some some classic lines. Um, and yeah, I just saw her video and I was like, yes, the, the, the younger generation is still hanging on to that accent, you know, because that's very, 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 very rare that you hear someone, you know, under the age of 10 who has like a thick New York accent. So had to show her love, of course. Yeah. Who, who taught you, Sienna? Who, ta who taught you to, how, to, how to talk? Um, my parents, basically. Yes. I think they my have, parents. They have really strong accents. What are your What are some of the lines that you said? Um, Speak up and do it. I I even chew in. <laughs> and how do you how do you say coffee? Coffee. Yeah. <laughs> how do you how do you say water? Water. <laughs> how do you say talk? Talk. <laughs> okay, I was just checking, just double I checking. I want a soundboard of just those. I can just yeah. like fire them off at different times. And how did, Sienna, how did that video come to be? Did your mom just have the camera on you and you just kind of went off or was it? So, I was like originally supposed to do it with my dad uh -huh. but then he didn't want to do it. So then my mom convinced me to do it and then I just brought that up out of nowhere. She didn't tell me to say anything, I just. <laughs> And how, how did you feel throughout the competition? Were you ever nervous? Yeah. Yeah? But you did, you did really, really well. You did really well. Thank you. Do, you. do you understand how insane it is that you beat Chaz Palminteri? <laughs> I woke up in the morning and I heard my mom screaming, like, <laughs> she, she's going to lose. Like. <laughs> well, look, you, I, I'm sure they've told you a million times, but... Chaz Palminteri arguably has one of the most, you know, memorable New York accents of all time. And you beat him. So you, should, that. you should be very happy. It's over. He has to move out of New York now. He's not allowed in the five boroughs anymore. I wonder if he knows. It's over for him. I think he might have <laughs> my I think God, he no. submitted his video and then just no, no, no. He, went on with life. <laughs> think, yeah. yeah. Bless him. Bless him, though. Oh, absolutely. Um... All right, let's let's uh, let's talk to Jay Key. Jay Key, I've been talking I've been talking to Jay Key a lot these past few days. Sure. We're, we're doing yeah, a for sure my next challenge together. Yep, next yep, challenge yep. Challenge is the yep. best New York shirt. So keeping up with the best New York blank challenge, mm -hmm. uh, we're just getting people to uh, submit, you know, their their best design for a New York City T-shirt and. Uh, it's going really well, and Jakey and I are doing it together. We actually met through, through the best accent contest. So, you know, a lot, a lot has come out of this. Um, but yeah, anyway. Yeah, Jakey, uh, I we should say I know you. Uh, you know, we go back prior to this. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. And and I will say, like, you know, I've, on your Instagram stories, you know, because I follow you and I watch your stories, uh, just open up, say to the people how you open basically every Instagram story post. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Post. Now, I, I start all my Instagram story posts by saying, yo, and that's kind of like a, it's like a bear call, you know? It's kind of like a, um, the, 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 the opening, the beginning of a ceremony. But it's uh, like you stretch it out, you stretch it out though. You really go like. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. I just say, yo, and you know, it just kind of go, go on with my whole serenading the topic that I need to talk about at that very moment. You really emphasized in your entry, the, you know, Queens and the melting pot aspect of Queens. Right. Talk about that, because that's very specific. Queens is the most diverse borough. Talk a little bit about your upbringing there and what you grew up around. 
Yeah, definitely. So um, I grew up in Jackson Heights and Elmhurst, Queens, and uh, parts of Flushing as well. Um, you know, like my classmates, like I would say my lunch table was like the UN. You know, every it was like everybody was a different race. So I was able to um, like really absorb different cultures. And uh, we all grew up on hip hop. And um, most of my friends around me, like English was like their second or third language. Right. And uh, a lot of our parents, you know, they don't speak English until this day, you know. I mean, they can't get by when they like shop in Bloomingdale's or something because, you know, money talks. But, you know, like we didn't pick up like this New York accent necessarily from home, you know, as as kids, like you, you emulate who you idolize. Right. So that could be like older figures in the neighborhood or figures that you see on television or radio. Um, by the way, that's that sounds a while watch because, you know, like I don't even know if people <laughs> radio, watch say, television radio. or radio anymore. But, you know, like those heroes that you heard, like for me, at least like growing up, they were like specifically like rappers, right? Like 90s New York rappers, like Nas, mm -hmm. Mob Deep, Wu-Tang, not the affiliates, just the core members, you know, like. Wow. Shot so to Kill think, Army. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I didn't know I Kill Army so. was going to catch one on this one, but <laughs> <Yeah>. all right. <laughs> nah, so um, I think all of that, like, just kind of culminated into, like, who I am as an individual and the way I talk. Because, you know, English is like my third language, you know, like, I, I was born in Korea, but I lived in China for a little bit. So, like, I had to kind of pick up, um, not only to fit in, but just to adapt, you know? Like, I'm sure a lot of the immigrant kids could relate that, you know, till this day, like, I have to read, like, official government papers for my parents and translate for them, you know? Like, or act like, I, as, as if I'm my father when I get on the phone, you know, to call AT&T or something. So, mm -hmm. you know, this is just like a, a means of survival. And I think Queens and just growing up around hip hop music just really molded my accent. Let's. I think the, the the obvious pivot right now is let's go to Wiki right now. You're gonna pick up the torch, uh, metaphorically and actually. Uh, so Nico, to explain who Wiki is for those who don't yeah, know. I mean, I've known Wiki forever. <clears throat> um, uh, I remember I went to I went to school in Tribeca. And, uh, Wiki was young, like probably four years younger than me, but he had a lot of friends who went to my school. Um, so I remember him coming to my school after after school let out and he would just freestyle like this little like 13 year old kid um, would just freestyle and it was the craziest it was the craziest we like to curse wait no, I so, would, yes, I yes, I'm not gonna curse I hope so man nah. I'm, no, playing, I'm playing I'm playing I'm playing he could spit he he was incredible and then you know I went off to college I didn't hear much from him but then one day he just like puts out this this album uh wiki 93 and it just like blew me away. I was like, oh my God, he stuck with it. I'm so happy. Uh, but we've just been, we've been tight ever since. We've, we've you know, done some projects together. And I've, you know, you got to listen to his music. It's like, yep. you know, he's like the New York underground artist, you know, um, like everyone knows him as that. He always reps New York. And obviously his, you know, his voice is, is so New York. It's very yep. unique as well. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's how I know Wick. Wiki, tell me, let's let's so, go let's go deep. Oh, damn. rappers, rappers with great New York accents, oh. like real, real great New York accents. Not just oh, rappers God. from New York, but rappers with great New York accents. Yeah, like what about like Raekwon? Like you know, yeah. the Wu. I feel like is to be honest, even with that whole doc, or not the doc, the other thing, that other thing I started watching, but I was like, the accent ain't right. It's all wrong. No. It's all wrong. Wrong. <laughs> like I was like, nah. Cause those accents are so unique, especially being Staten Island and being from where they are in Staten Island and that, you know, that, cause Staten Island, you think it's like the Italian off top. That's what you're mm -hmm. thinking. Like that, that, that one, you know what I mean? Right. But then when you see, see that it's like this kind of, it's influenced by it, but it's still, the, you know what I mean? Like it's, a, it's adjacent to it. Yeah. 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 I think like woo for sure. But mm -hmm. then all of it, it's all about like the natural, like pun, the list. I think the list that like that, that lit, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. that, that like Puerto Rican, mm -hmm. uptown, Bronx, uptown, list, Wash like, Heights, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, and then you got like Nas, just cool, cool, calm, collected, you know what I mean? But like un unmistakably at the same time. I don't know, like you can, you can name any of them dudes from that era because I feel like it's like, you just hear it in their voice, you know? It's right. like what everyone's talking about. It's not like a, it's just like natural, you know what I mean? Like every every type, you know what I mean? Because there's not one type, especially. When you started rapping, 
were you aware of wanting because you know how sometimes people talk one way but they rap mm. differently oh were you, yeah were you I hate were, that. right it's weird it's strange I hate that. it's mad weird like, <laughs> like i don't want to be doing shots but like I, you know like drake he'd be talking different than when he'd be rapping like, all shot i love drake's music so many, Shout out to so drake. many strays today but i'm like yo like <laughs> like it's just i don't know it's natural when like i hate that bro but like yeah nah i, I like to like just be you know so when you true. conscious it's, like, of it? other people said like uh, other people were saying like hip hop is a big influence too. It's not just from your parents, you know what right. I mean? Like, but at the same time, like, and you pick up things from your friends along the way and all this, you know what I mean? Even like I, even like I picked up things from Cali fools. Like I say fools all the time. Mm -hmm. People were like, why you call me a fool? Because I just been around Cali people, and then I say that, but I still say it in New York way. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Like, so you pick things up. It's all natural, though. You know. Right. All right, Imani, let's 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 get in with Imani. Nico, talk to us. That's right. That's right. <laughs> no, Imani Bramer, right? Imani Bramer. Fuck. I mean, <laughs> I've been I've been messing I've been messing up her name this whole time, and I'm I just feel so bad. But at least it's I okay. It's okay. Um. So yeah, her her video was a classic. Mm -hmm. uh, it totally stuck out to me. She, you know, she she also had a, a story that worked really well um, for her, um, and uh, yeah, she's just dope, super dope. Talk to us, Imani. Talk to us about neighborhood and about picking things up in the neighborhood because I I do think you know Jake Key talks about you know you hear voices on the people you're that you're idolizing, obviously family, but neighborhood is also a different texture. Talk about that. So the thing about New Yorkers is that I think we pride ourselves on having beef with people. So if you're walking down the block, <laughs> you're going to see the chick who you don't like. You're going to see somebody who wanted to fight you last week, but they don't want to mess with you because you're tougher or whatever the case may be. Um, the corner store is the staple in New York. So you're going to bump into everybody in the corner store. <sighs> so yeah, like I grew up in Hollis, Queens. I'm the daughter of a Jamaican immigrant. So actually I did not get out a lot. Like I was able to play with my cousins mm -hmm. and my family and by the time the street lights came on, I had to be back inside. But the funny thing is, I actually got that story. The influence of that story was from my sister. So my sis, my oldest sister, she grew up in Hollis, Queens with me. And um, I called her and I was like, yo, give me your best New York story. And she went back into her, <laughs> into her memory. <laughs> she went back into her memory, pulled out all the names of her friends. It was like, oh, wow. we need Salvation Autumn. We'd be on the block. We was getting fish on Murdoch, but then we wanted to go to Green Naked, blah, blah, blah. So that's what the, the neighborhood is like. It's about running into your favorite people. It's about running into your arch nemesis. It's about running into the person you don't want to see. It's about running into your crush and being able to par with everyone. Yeah, New York storytelling. I mean, New that's like, telling. right. Yeah. And you, you don't even really have to leave the corner for it. It's just, it's all... New York is so, it's so fun and it's so filled with, with, with stories and, and like walking down a block is an experience. So we yeah. don't have to go far. Real talk. Yeah. Um, Nico, I think we got two left. Um, Ilana? You want, to, you want to go there? Yeah, let's do it. All right, go in. Um, yeah. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I, I love, I love, love, love her voice. Um, <laughs> it, you know, it's like, it doesn't match the appearance in a at way. All. <laughs> at all. Um, and I, I just, I love that. You know, like, there's, there's only a few people I know like that, and uh, I love them for it. But, uh, no, she, she was great. It, like, there wasn't a doubt in my mind. Like, all these people up here right now, when I saw their videos, like there's no doubt that they're gonna make it to the top 24. Like if if not, you know, go even further. Um, but uh, but yeah, no, she she's great. Um, so, that thing about uh, appearance not matching the voice. So you, Alana, you said you agree with that. Oh, that's my entire life, like legit. <laughs> okay, okay, talk I, talk about that because I I don't know that I felt that necessarily. I mean, I understand why I get what you're talking about, but also. You know, you grew up in New York. I grew up around a lot of different people with a lot of different perspectives and accents. So, so tell me about that, though. My name is actually from, a, like, my mom's, like, distant cousins. We have Ethiopian Jews in my family, and her name was oh. Ilana. So my parents were like, wow, let's be different and name her Ilana. So that's how I got the name. Um, a lot of my friends, I guess you could say a lot of them are Italian, I guess. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have diverse friends. I don't know. But... Um, I hung around them a lot of my life. 
So I picked up the accent. My sister actually does not have the, the accent at all, which I don't even know how that happened because she was really only born in Brooklyn for like two days and then they moved to Staten Island. Mm. I don't know. And then um, I went to... I went to school out here. I went to high school in Manhattan. So I actually got voted as the worst Staten Island accent in my, my high school. So that was an honor. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, but it's just, it does, definitely doesn't match the appearance. I definitely shock people when I like go somewhere and they're like, oh, you, oh you're Ilana. Okay. All right. <laughs> so it's cool. It's cool. And I, like I said, I'm a teacher. So like when I talk to my students, they're like, miss, can you say that again? And I'm like, you got four minutes to do the do now. Hurry up. Like, they're like, why do you talk like that? And I'm like, I don't know. Just do the work. Are they influenced by you? Like, do you hear them picking up on the way you talk and sort of salting it in their, how they talk? No, they just mimic me to make fun of me, but I'm okay with it. I have no problem. <laughs> no big deal. And I've See, always wanted to put Staten Island on the map because I feel like we have our claim to fame with Wu-Tang, we had mob wives, rest in peace, big Ange. Real talk. But I feel like it kind of fell off after that. So I was like, my friend actually from London hit me up and was like, you need to do this contest. And I was like, <laughs> whatever. And then I started looking through some of the stuff and I'm like, I feel like I could do this. <laughs> and then I did it and I was like, oh my God. So now I feel famous. Thank you. <laughs> my I mean, so undoubted, undoubtedly true. Uh, yes, and I also know I learned in Staten Island. I got the shirt to say it. Big wow. facts. So, I, rubbed it hard. I rubbed very hard. R.I.P. Big Ann. Salute to Drita. Uh, Nico, we got one more. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this person's real name, uh, but you know this person's a character. We got Allo. That's right. Allo, where you at, Allo? I got I to gotta click to, where is it? What's good? Oh, there, there he is. How you doing? I'm chilling. Good to see you. Yeah, so, <laughs> so Allo, uh, obviously, you know, there weren't any other puppets. Um, is, that the correct, <laughs> is that the correct term? Facts. Okay, good, puppet. Uh, there weren't any other puppet submissions. So when I saw Allo's video, like, I, I had to pay attention. Um, and he, again, told this amazing story uh, about a conversation he had with a gentleman who was trying to uh, sell him hand sanitizer and uh, face masks or something like that, Lysol. And the story just sounded so scripted, you know, like it didn't sound real. And then I go to his page and I see a photo of that guy. So it was in fact true. He took a photo of the guy who was, who was trying to rip him off. Um, and uh, yeah, no, he was just, he's just incredible. I, I live um, fairly close to, uh, to Allo. Um, so I hear that, that accent all the time. Um, and it was, it was right on the nose and yeah. Um, how do puppets learn accents? <laughs> well, I, I'm not even going to front. Yeah. I feel like I don't have an accent, but That's right. the years, I was traveling and stuff. And then everybody was like, oh, you're from New York, right? You're from New York, right? I'm like, how you know? They was like, I could just tell. I'm like, how? Well, besides the Yankee fitted, but you know. So I really don't, I still don't feel that I have an accent, but when I hear Chase Money Mars talk, I'm like, I get it because it's funny. He from the BX, BX, shout out to the BX real quick. But it's funny because the BX and Brooklyn got some like little invisible beef, but we act, we actually the same. So when I hear him speak, I'm like, oh, wow. I get why they say I got an accent. Yeah. Like, right. even though I still don't feel that I don't really, but whatever. <laughs> Well, when you grow up around it, it doesn't feel like I. You know, you only know when people who don't talk like you. Tell That's you a fact. You. Like, yeah, you just don't I, know. Like, I just, I just really found out in recent years when I started traveling. I'm talking like traveling abroad. I yeah. remember, um, I was in Amsterdam and I was on my friend couch, and then my other homeboy came with me. So we both talking. We telling he telling the story. I'm like, you lying? He was like, yo, I'm dead a. So I'm like, what? So he just like. My friend from Amsterdam, he's like, how you know he's serious because what he just said? I'm like, because he said he's dead serious. And he's like, so that's how you know? He's like, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. why would he lie if he said that? And then that he's like, yo, he was just like, yo, yeah, you people are different. I'm like, word. But so I really didn't, like, I I started to understand, like, oh, it really is an accent in New York. And, you know, ever since Instagram and social media became what it was, you hear everybody from all over the United States and you hear everybody speak mad different. I'm like, oh, shit. Like. Sorry, I'm like, 
yo, people really got mad different accents and whatnot. So I'm like, yo, that's crazy. Um, the, hearing the collection of everybody, just even hearing everybody today, is one thing to watch the videos individually, but to hear the conversation and people kind of interacting with each other. I mean, this is like, but this is like, you know, JK, you said your high school is like the UN. This reminds me of my high school too. Like, you know, it's, this is, this is what I feel like we grew up with. Um, my yeah, fault. But oh, shout out to Jay Key, because when he said the seven train was like the Nile, I was crying. I was like, yeah. nah, he didn't just say that. Mm -hmm. He said the seven train is the Nile. I'm like, yo, shout out to Jay Key for that. Yo, word, thank you, man. Appreciate that. About that story about, um, you know, on like Atlantic Avenue, you definitely see like dudes over there trying to sell you all types of hand sanitizers and always trying to like G you with like different price points with like these mysterious ingredients. Like mm -hmm. I don't even know where they source these materials from, you know? Have you, yeah. have you seen that guy since? Did you tell him that he's, like, semi-famous from your story? <laughs> nah, I didn't, but what you call it? Because I, I haven't even went to Target, nothing. That, like, when that happened, that was, like, one week before the whole city shut down. Yeah, yeah, so I'm right. trying to rack up, do what I got to do, and he was just out there. I wasn't mad at it, really. I was just mad that he really was trying to play me like I'm dumb. I'm like, come on now. Like, he's trying to play you like a puppet. That's crazy. Yeah, come Ooh. on. I'm like, Ooh. come on, son. Come on. You ain't got to do all this right now. I, I, will, I will say uh, on 4th Avenue in Atlantic, whatever that guy is selling there is extremely off-brand. So if anybody walks by that guy, not to knock his hustle, but it's extremely yeah. off-brand. Right. Um, well, look, I'm excited for the conversation we just had. We also have some new, I don't know if they're contestants or participants, but when the call for the event went out, we wanted to hear other accents. Uh, so now let's bring in mm -hmm. the folks who uh, are new to the accent challenge and let's hear how they talk and and what they got to say and should we unmute everybody yeah should we unmute themselves so we can all kind of have a conversation and video and video <laughs> do we lose them oh there we go do we lose them i'm unmuting everyone <clears throat> okay i see two more there we go all right um Orisa, I'm going to start with you. Oh, my God. I heard you talking in the warm-up, and I was like, this is, this is serious right now. Oh, um, my God. Orisa, hey, hold on. Hold oh on. This is nuts. I got to put my ears phones in. Please, 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 <laughs> please do. Please do. Hi, everybody. How yeah, are you? Yeah, that's right. Uh, okay. Tell us your name and tell us where you're from. and, and how, My name you, is Orisha. <laughs> Um, but everybody calls me Reese because growing up, you couldn't pronounce my name because of the way it's spelled. Um, my mom was Jewish. My dad was black. I grew up in Kew Gardens, hey. Queens. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Close enough. Um, I have all of my best friends, like, there's five of us. We grew up together. We went to school. You know each other from elementary. Mm -hmm. um, we just celebrated our 50th birthday in Jamaica last year. I know I don't look it. Wait, Jamaica, me, wait, Jamaica, Jamaica Queens no, or Jamaica no. the Island? Jamaica the Island. <laughs> Jamaica the Island. I was like, Jamaica Queens is a great place to celebrate a birthday. I, don't... <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, was I would love to celebrate my next birthday in Jamaica Queens. That'd be great. No, we went to Jamaica the Island wow, and um, I met my husband. <laughs> he yeah. lives on the Jersey Shore. I was very against being here, coming here dealing with anybody from New Jersey, but <laughs> here I am. And my accent is coming back real heavy, A, yeah. because I drank, <laughs> two, we wow. It's happy hour. We didn't talk. It is happy hour. Yeah, we, happy hour. We, didn't, we didn't talk about alcohol in the New York accent. Oh, we, we didn't? Just, no, oh. we should talk about that. <laughs> oh, yes. The alcohol brings it out a lot, and if I talk to my friends, then I can bring it out a ton. Sienna, cover your ears for this part, please. Yeah. When I'm in, oh. <laughs> when I'm in New Jersey, when I talk on the phone, everybody's like, and they meet me in person because a lot of my work is over the phone. Mm -hmm. And then they meet me in person. They're like, uh, I was expecting some blonde friggin' girl with long nails. No, my mother's Jewish. Mm -hmm. My dad is black. I have a very mixed background. 
you bring it and you bring it and you bring so, the texture, the full texture. That's me. Um, so I'm uh, excited to be a part. So thank we're happy you so to, much. We're happy to have you. Fred, Fred, talk to us, Fred. Okay. <laughs> My accent has been rounded off because I was a lawyer and oh, I'm so you sorry. Speak in court, you learn, <laughs> but you can hear now when I say yes. certain words like lawyer, I want a glass of water. I mean, it comes back. And yes, it comes back if I drink. It comes back if I'm really tired and if I'm really angry. Mm -hmm. um, so that if I get upset, it sounds something like, what do you, what do you want from me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. uh, the anger right. brings it out. Um, but my credentials are, and I may be older than everybody else here, I grew up in Brooklyn and I actually wrote, I mean, I was a little kid, five or six years old, but I actually wrote trolleys in Brooklyn. They still oh, had wow. trolleys in Brooklyn oh, how old? when I was a kid. Yeah. Wow. Uh, cool. <laughs> about maybe five, maybe four, I don't know, but I mean, very- What neighborhood? <laughs> Fred, what neighborhood in Brooklyn? Um, okay, it's, it's East New York slash Brownsville. Yeah. Brownsville is, is where the exact location is about a block away from what is now Brookdale Hospital. When I was a kid, it was called Bethel Hospital. Yeah, sure. Now it's Brookdale uh, Medical Center. Trolley. So uh, that, 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 that was the name that I grew up in. Wow. Very rich Brooklyn history. I appreciate that. Um, our final contestant, contestant again, I don't know. Uh, wait, you're, uh, Patricia, I'm sorry. Your name is not, your name is not yeah, Marcus yeah. Patricia. <laughs> Patricia is here. Patricia, tell us. Tell us who you are, tell us where you're okay. from, and tell us why you talk how you talk. Okay, can you hear me? I can. Okay, well, I'm Patricia, and I'm from Jamaica, Queens. That where we're, and where I'm having my next birthday party. Okay. Okay, <laughs> Jamaica, Queens, a long, long time ago, I grew up in some place called Rochdale Village, uh, off of Hillside Avenue. Um, I took Q4, Q5 AB. Um, I've been living outside of DC for quite a while, so I kind of feel like I don't have that accent. But, you know, my kids, they'll crack up. They'll tell me to say, say water. You know, what do you want to drink? You want to drink some coffee? Um, doesn't sound like an accent to me. I sound, you know, like I'm just saying the word is just intended. But um, I really enjoyed this. I just literally, I get homesick all the time. I go back often. But I just love hearing New York accents. I love, you know, speaking like a New Yorker, even if I don't sound like a New Yorker to myself. And I just, I love everything. Everything New York. Do you, I, I should ask, do you find when you go back, the accent really jumps out? I do. And certainly, um, I think like Fred said, when I get mad, it's like everything zeroes out of my head and I just I drop <laughs> F-bombs constantly and my hands start moving. Um, so it comes out at times. And if I spend, all my family's still in New York. So when I go back and I, I hang out with everybody, it comes back. Whoa. We appreciate you hanging out with us here today. Nico, we, you could add a, a hundred more entries, a thousand more entries. Well, you're on mute. You're on mute, bro. You say you're on mute, bro. Why didn't you guys submit to the best accent? Yeah, <laughs> he's all mad. He's not retroactively not mad. Um, you guys not know about it? I didn't know about it. I didn't know about it. Oh, yeah. wow. Well, Paul right. I thought everyone too. knew about it. Man. Well, right. I, I'm probably, Round two. I'm probably going to have yeah. to do it next year, right? Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Uh, like a season yeah. two? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Is the first time you're all in the same room, like in the same, what, talking all together? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah but what, once this ends, we should all get together. Absolutely. Yo, absolutely. I, I, Yo, I, this I, party, I, I, this I, I, party I, I, is about to be on. Yeah, well, not, not in Jamaica, Queens, but. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. I don't I don't have eight hours to get to Queens. Oh my there you go. All right. That's all right. Well they said Shen's mom said she had a place in uh Staten Island. Oh, mom. Okay, we go to Staten Island. We might do the Willis Avenue. Uh, we can go to my parents' house. You know, we might be on the Willis Avenue, Avenue Bridge. Chase, we might have to come up to the Willis Avenue Bridge and just meet How about you right a there. central location like Brooklyn? <laughs> I, really I, I, don't know, I don't know if there's states from I'll pick, to come all the way pick down Staten Island. Island. That's like going Manhattan. to a different country, you know? Queens is not that far. Manhattan. 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 This, is, Manhattan. this is what we're going to do. We're going to meet at Nico's house, old house in Union Square, and everybody will lose it. Everybody will lose their accent. Right? I was just about to say, you used to wait a meetup point. On no the contrary, accent. when you're around people with a New York accent, it tends to, it tends to, I know if I'm talking with people with, right now, 
just hearing all you guys, my accent is coming back like it has in a few years. <laughs> That's exactly. right. Exactly. You got to drink. That's you got to drink right. the Manhattan I'm drinking. and smoke a new yeah. part. It'll come back. <laughs> Weak. <laughs> Weak. Look, I hope I hope y'all had a fun time today. I hope you take these accents yeah. out into the world. Let everybody know where you're from, how you sound. Let's go. Thank you to you for organizing the go. challenge and being a part of this, bringing all these people together. Thank you. Together and Thank providing you. Thank you for joining in, in the face of a tough time. And uh, shout out Coney Island Avenue, Avenue U, Emmons Avenue, Roller Roaster. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Roller roasted, they're not that fast, but <laughs> it's slow fast food. It's slow fast food. Yeah, you we'll guys. Do, we'll yeah, I paid nineteen dollars for a bridge to go to Roller Roaster, so because it's worth it. It's worth it. Shout out to Jamaica Queens before we go. Shout out to Jamaica Queens. That's Jamaica Queens. Yay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> everybody do a everybody do a quick shout out. Jason, yeah, yeah, do a quick shout out. out. Jamaica Queens. <laughs> Shout out to Brooklyn, Crown Heights, the floor seat. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. Uh, hold on. Little Village Queens. Shout out to Q Gardens, my girls, Pam, Erica, Jackie, Tim. I love you. You are my oh, sisters. I love you. Hi, Ma. My mother's Jakey. watching. Hi, Ma. You better be. She wanted me to tell her. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure to. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh. I just want to make sure to shout out to Flushing, Queens, Main Street, Northern Boulevard, Jackson Heights, yeah. and Elmer's Hospital, especially all the medical workers really holding it down. Essential workers. Donated a bunch of sneakers over there earlier this week. Um, I think they still need a lot of support and help, so I just want to get that message out there. Go on Jakey's page for information about how to help Elmer's Hospital. Uh, he's been doing great work providing uh, food and resources for them. So if you, if you guys want to collaborate on any of that um, to try to support the local hospitals, make sure you holler at me. We'll shout out to Brooklyn. Shout out to my salon, Art yeah. Nail NYC. Come book me when it's safe because I will hook you up. I, Art Nail I, NYC get, in Tribeca. I, I will get one word in. Since Nico ripped me apart with my followers, how about everybody <laughs> follows me and tell your friends to follow me? So everybody follows me. Follow, so the old guy don't get ripped apart in this whole thing, you know? Tell, tell him your at. What's your at? Uh, JT 1973 MV. Yep. I'll find so, it out. Chase money, follow me, man. Yeah. I've been following yeah. you. Come on. Yeah. Come on, man. All you do is stare and you don't follow me, man. Oh. Oh. Support. Support. Oh, oh, man. Wiki, you follow me. Wiki, you're all right. You're good, man. Thank you. Oh, man. I had That's to. that tough love. No, because Chase right. Money has 10,000 followers. Yeah, Chase Money don't follow oh, Chase, you got to help this man out. Well, <laughs> you know? Come on. I don't say, don't go follow. Show some love. Oh, and shout hey out guys, to it's, my it's, comic book, Aloe Adventures. This is a real New York story. I'm not even fronting because of the competition. I'm just dead ass. That's it's real New York shit in the story. It was written like a year and a half ago. Y'all gonna see. But yes. yes. Um, I think we're coming to a close Wait, again. Can we, can, we, can we get can we get a year? Yeah! Hey, that's a dirty bow, number bow, thing. Bow. I don't, I don't know. That. Right. He's like, that's the <laughs> That's it. You can't you can't top that. Um thank you everybody for participating. <laughs> thank, you. thank you to everybody watching. Thank, thank you to everybody in the chat. Bye. We appreciate you. Have a great, safe, healthy peace, weekend. Peace, 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 Wash peace. your hands. Uh <laughs> don't go outside. Don't be outside right now. This is like the most authentic New York Times event, I think, to date. You know what I mean? Shout out to the gray lady for hosting us. Yes. I think my mom would be proud to tell her that, you know, I was in the New York Times. It's all, for, it's all for the moms. We do it for the moms. All for stay, the moms. Healthy yeah. too. stay healthy and Rona free. That's right. That's right. All right. <laughs> all right, y'all. Bye, everyone. Take, take care. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye, Sienna. Mm -hmm.